Hello everyone. Hello. Hi everyone. Welcome to Ashley Shah's Arts, Crafts and Kitchen. So can you all hear me? Can you give me uh, a thumbs up? Like, can you let me know in the chat whether you all can hear me? Hello, thank you for joining everyone. How are you all doing? How's weather at your place? So at my place, it's like morning. So it might be evening, it's evening in India, right? So yes, good evening. Okay, yes, you can hear me, cool. Hello, welcome. So let me tell you what we are going to do today. So in our today's class, we are going to do this beautiful butterfly so it's also known as monarch butterfly or, or just monarch so yes this is our topic for today so why it's known as monarch uh, because maybe it has like different parts we have not seen the chat option oh there is a chat option i got some messages okay Hi Swaranj. Hi Jyoti. Hi Avinash. Hi Swara. Welcome. So yeah everyone let me tell you what all supplies you will need for uh, this drawing this butterfly. Okay so you're going to need first of all a pencil. Okay so yeah a pencil. Then you're going to need your eraser. So your pencil, then your eraser, you're going to need your colors like, well, I have this pink color I can say, yeah, it's Luna Tree Slim, it's not a red color. So this is a little bit dark, a pink color. Oh, nice, Swaranj, good to know that you're doing the painting, the drawing with your friends. Thank you for your friends also for connecting. And yeah, I was just looking for my eraser. It was hiding under the flowers. So yes, you're going to need your pencil, then your eraser, a sharpener if you need. And yes, even a ruler because we are going to draw like a, a rectangle and then we are going to draw the shape, okay, the butterfly. The rectangle will help us in making both the sides kind of equal. So yes, a scale, you can draw it freehand as well. Then you're going to need colors. What colors will you need? I have this maroon color kind of. Then I have also red if I use. But yeah, mostly I'll use this dark color. Then I'm going to use orange, yellow. Okay, so these are the colors I'll use now for black. You can use a black pencil if you have. Otherwise, I will say if you have a black pencil, pen or a sharpie go for that so a black pencil or a black uh, sharpie okay so these are the things which you will need for today you can use a thin pen or a sharpie that's a sketch pen the sharpie in india it's also known as sketch pen a marker hi pushkar Welcome to our channel. So Pushka is new, I guess. So hi Pushka, welcome. So yes, these are the things you will need. So everyone get ready with all your supplies. If you have any questions, please let me know. This is a black pen. Okay, so these are the things you will need. Make sure you also have your scale with you because it will help us in drawing a same, like proper, a proper rectangle. yes so yeah everyone get ready with your supplies and yes you can even uh, yeah you can also draw 
sorry you can color it when you, with any different color you want like if you want to use blue pink purple combination go for it that will also look good just yellow shades will look good so even white if you want to try white that will also be fine okay So yes, everyone, how's it going? Get ready with your supplies. Oh, the video is blur. Okay, I'll just check that. Yes. Okay, yes, so hi Dinesh, hi oh, Snail. okay so get ready everyone so just let me just check that the, looks like the video is a little bit blur okay is it better now Okay, so everyone, are you ready to start drawing? Okay, so yes, let's get started friends with our drawing. So as I said, we are going to make this beautiful monarch butterfly. So this is like one of the most recognizable and well studied butterflies on the planet. So it's like orange wings or I can yeah, orange wings with some black color lines and you can also create some white dots now i have yellow color dots but you can also make white dots so they are famous for their seasonal migration okay these butterfly they migrate from united states and canada and then south of california and mexico for winter so yes they are very popular you might have seen the, the posters of these birds as well like your like wall stickers yeah yes so you know they create kind of a little bit poison so which helps uh, helps to cure people with heart problem but yes, it needs to be intake with, with less amount. <laughs> okay, so I guess we are good to start now. So what we are going to do first is we are going to draw a rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to just see how much this is kind of. Uh, till from here, I guess. So this is around like 16 centimeters. Yes, you can take some different measurements. So 16 and this is around... I can say something around 12 okay so 16 and 12 and then in the center yes so I'll be taking those measurements so first I'm going to draw a rectangle so here is my pencil so I'm trying to draw it in the center so you can take any measurement that's also fine so 16 i'm gonna take 16 okay i hope my line is straight so 16 on the top and sideways i'm going to take 12 yes you can take any different measurements make sure you draw it light draw it light everyone don't draw it dark you know it's kind of important to draw light you can directly draw a rectangle without measurement as well but yeah we want a rectangle not a square Yeah. 
let me just draw this last line here and I will extend this line a little bit okay so first step I did I made a rectangle of 16 by 12 Okay, I'm just going to write it in the chat as well so that if you want you can refer that so a rectangle of 16 by 12 centimeters Okay, after drawing the rectangle, divide it into parts. So I'm going to use my another light pencil. Okay, so divide it into parts. So make sure you take the center. It's okay if it is a little bit here and there. You can even measure the uh, center and draw it. I'm going to mark this point and see whether it's kind of the center. Yep okay approx center it's okay if it's not exact yeah if it's possible draw the exact center if you don't have a ruler it's okay you can draw something kind of approx so i'm taking actually the exact center i got a little bit curved line so eight centimeters on each side and here it will be six centimeters so here six and here six let me know if you have any questions okay and make sure everyone you draw this very light okay because we are going to erase it we are not going to use it for uh for any other details like we just need it for some time so just still drawing a butterfly yes everyone following me how's it going and yes you can pause the video anytime when you are not ready feel free to pause the video and then keep drawing so I did a rectangle. Now I'm going to draw like a circle on the top side, a circle and then few curves coming down. So ready for that. So the circle is for the head. Here we'll draw the circle and then we'll draw the body. So the body also needs to be big, not small. The circle is kind of, this is the half and circle is a little bit above. So here I'm going to draw a circle. A circle. And then comes the body. So from here I'm drawing a curve. Coming down. Make sure the curve is big enough. Yeah. I'm going to keep my drawing here so I can also see that. coming down and here yeah it's kind of big enough like this okay so that's for the body now hello hello Sunil so now we are going to draw the wings so start with one side take help of the lines and then draw it so we are going to fit one wing here so in each rectangle we are going to kind of um, draw four wings okay so four rectangles for four wings 
so make sure you draw it in, in that and whatever you do on your one side you're going to do the same thing on the other side whatever you have on your left that's going to be on your right so be very careful when you draw the other side you can change it you can make it different up to you whatever you prefer but just make sure you draw it light initially and then draw dark okay don't start with drawing dark because yes in case you think oh you need to change it then you can right so make sure it's light I'm going to start drawing it dark, but yeah, I want you to draw light. So I'll try to draw it same like this. It can be different. So a curve from here coming down till the head. So a curve from here. See, when I'm drawing small curves, I'm trying to draw it a little bit lighter. Coming down here a little bit. You're know, like this. Hi Prasad, welcome. A curve there. Then I'm going to draw some wavy lines here coming down. Okay, wavy lines. Then from here comes the second one. Yes, I'm going to make this one a little bit small. See, even I'm kind of redoing the lines. So it's better that we always draw light and then we make it dark. And yeah, you can draw it different than my drawing. Prasad, I'm doing good. So yeah, I'm just going to keep the supplies here in case you need to uh, check what colors I'll be using. Then yeah, those are the things which I'll be using. So whatever I have on this side, I have to do the same thing on the other side, right? So starting from here, being really careful, observing my left side. A curve going up round okay yes it's okay if it's slightly different don't worry just keep on drawing wavy line and see this is the second time i'm doing actually it's not the second time i guess it is third or fourth time i'm drawing right now because yes, before this, I have one more, same like this. And I had, I guess I had tried it with blue color as well. So yeah, don't compare your drawings with others. Just keep on drawing and enjoying. Okay, from here, I'm going to run another line. So I'm just looking at my this side because I want both of these to look equal. Starting from down. here a curve coming down going up look at the other side and draw yeah kind of same does it look equal Yes, we don't want it to be exact similar. We want it to be a little bit equal. So yes, everyone, how is it going? Yeah, so I'm going to just see whether these points are a little bit similar. Can I slightly change it a little bit up?
okay so now we got the rectangle ready so yes everyone how is it going do you have any questions any concern let me know so my butterfly drawing the outline is kind of ready right now so yes let me erase few lines so here i'm going to erase this middle line here another line this side i'm erasing the rectangle we don't need the rectangle anymore if you want to keep it you can also paint it like you can paint the inside the rectangle even outside the rectangle like that will also look good like do one color inside and then the other color outside yeah it will look good so if you want to paint the background you can keep the rectangle You know, all monarch butterflies, they look kind of same. Yeah, let me just dust these eraser dust. Hi, Atarva. Welcome. Good evening. Yes. So now moving ahead. So we are going to draw different parts inside this okay inside the butterfly so let me just show you the reference picture if you look here it has kind of like different shapes but whatever is on one side the same thing is on the other wing right and if you'll observe it's kind of a little bit big medium size and small so you can draw any different shapes you want yes go for it but whatever shapes you draw you make sure it's big to small big to small we don't want it of same size we want a little bit variety and see if this is a little bit curved line then i'm drawing a next curved line to it okay so yes you can do variations but when you're doing the variation just make sure that Whatever is on one corner, you do it same on the other side. Follow each petal, okay? So, yes. Are you ready? How's it going, everyone? Any questions? And yeah, has anyone seen this Monarch butterfly before? If yes, please go ahead and type it in the chat. I am not really sure but uh, i guess i have i'm not sure <laughs> but yeah if you have go ahead and type it in the chat so yes you can make it a little bit different i'm going to try to make the wings the parts slightly different than what's it what is there in the actual picture okay so let's see try to make it easy not very difficult okay easy stroke don't draw difficult Oh, uh, these are kind of stable, we can say. Hi, Vasu. Thank you for connecting. Yes, we can say it's kind of stable. Because it's not like very curved, right? So it depends on the body. If, if you show the body very deep, you can say, yeah, the wings are moving kind of. So let's start. So I'm going to draw a big line here first. And here. So whatever you have on one side, you have to do the same on the other side, remember. Okay, then I'm going to draw a curve coming down. So you can make them different and making it round here. Another curve coming down and round. Yeah, I think I'm going to use my finger to measure it. So see this is kind of four and this is kind of less so yeah i need to make this side a little bit bigger okay 
And here it goes. A curve. Now next I'm going to draw another one line here. So go one by one, take your time. And drawing a curve again. As it comes down, it's going to get thin. Okay, looks like there's some sunlight coming. I hope it's fine. Another one here as it goes up. It's going to get a little bit big. You can draw it different. How's it going, everyone? Hi, Walaseb. Thank you for connecting. I'm going to draw a little bit bigger one here. I will say don't draw very small parts, okay? Don't make very small lines. Let it be a little bit big. If you make it small, it will be kind of a little bit difficult to color as well. So in the starting, make it as much as big you can. Yeah, I will draw a big one here. So right now my shapes are kind of looking a little bit different, not very similar still if I'm drawing it exact same, right? You can also use a trace paper if you have and then you can try drawing it same. Okay, so another one here. Keep doing everyone. How's it going? Any questions? Yeah, I'm doing one by one and trying to make them look similar. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I'm taking my time. I'm not doing it any rush. And I'm going to start adding more small ones now. Okay, looks like I don't have enough space here, so I'm going to extend this a little bit big. So it has few yellow, few um, white dots on the top. I'm trying to make the same thing, but how much space you have accordingly. You can adjust the wing as well. Here it goes. Adding few small dots. Yeah, that's it. I guess I can draw it on that side. Now coming down. Yes, everyone. Let me know whether they are looking kind of similar or no. From here, I 
I'm drawing it different than the first one as I said. What is our main focus is to make them look a little bit similar. Okay, let me draw these a little bit big. Okay, few more. I'm drawing kind of half circles, then triangles, few rectangles, different shapes. And yes, I will say go one by one so you know you remember what shape you did previously. It's kind of a little bit easy to draw. Go one by one. There it is, ready. So this is known as like the hing wing, this is known as the four wing. Now I'm going to draw the antennas, so for that it's yeah, if you want to make them curvy, go ahead. I try to make it not realistic, a little bit kind of like I gave my touch to it. I made two lines and a circle. But if you want to make it look realistic, you can just draw two curves. That's also fine. So here, a little bit thick line and a circle. And yes, the antennas are also big. Not very small. I made it a little bit small. So if you want, you can change it up to you. So there was my drawing ready. So yeah, everyone, how is it going? What do you think? Do you have any questions? So we are going to start with coloring. So for coloring, you can see these are the colors which I will be using. I have dark pink, it's kind of pink, then orange, yellow, red. I won't use mostly red, but yes, I have it with me. So let's start. So first, always start coloring with a light color and then go towards a dark color. But yeah, I'll remind you if your drawing is very dark, make sure you make it light. Okay, because we are using color pencil. If you have any different coloring tool, you can use that as well. But if your drawing is dark, then there are chances that the gray color, this gray color of your pencil, regular pencil, will mix with your color pencil. So you have to be very careful. Okay, so let's start with coloring. I'm starting with my yellow color. So here I'm doing yellow. Make sure you don't do it on your pencil lines. Otherwise, it will become black or gray color. So yellow. Don't leave white spots. Try to use your pencil very softly. As much as soft you can. Okay, I'm going to color this full yellow because we are going to try to blend the colors, right? So whenever you start coloring, always start with a light shade. So it will kind of like help you in blending. So actually this butterfly, it is more like orange color shade than yellow. But yes, I prefer using a yellow. I really like it. Thanks, Rick. So here, shading it. Don't use the tips. I'm not holding my pencil like this. I'm holding it a little bit far and I'm not pressing it too hard. Use it very softly. Don't press it. You're a little bit more yellow on the top now. Just on the top side 
and yes let me erase the dark pencil lines make sure you don't have dark pencil lines okay it's really important here i'm shading it on the top side okay on yes keep coloring only on the top side and i'm going to make my drawing a little bit light on this side as i have very dark lines and yes these dark lines will make my coloring a little bit gray color and i don't want that now let's start again so here the yellow color you can leave few white dots as well if you want so the smaller ones i want you to color it completely yellow and the bigger ones or those are going to be like orange yellow orange then orange red or maroon or pink <laughs> So here I'm coloring. So don't press your pencil. You know, if you'll press your pencil, it will, your hand will hurt, okay? So I don't want you to press your pencil. I want you to do it very softly. It should be like a relaxing topic for you, not like a stressful topic. It's kind of a stress buster, like kind of meditating. So make sure you don't press your pencil. Try to use it very softly. Keep coloring. little bit yellow on this side not much very little if your hand starts painting take a break hold your pencil a little bit far and start coloring again so for the lower ones i'm not doing full yellow i'm just adding yellow uh, on the top side Make sure you don't have dark pencil lines. Yes, everyone, how is it going? Let me know. Pressing my pencil very gently, like I'm not pressing it too hard. So the smaller dots, try to fill them full, like color them fully. Don't leave white spots for them. Go in the soft direction, don't press it. Yes, everyone, how is it going? Do you have any questions? Okay, so now I'm going to start with orange color. So starting it from this side and I'm going to go forming like a triangle shape very softly. Now this should be very soft. I'm trying to go it in circular motion where I want to blend the colors. For example, I'll show you. So I'm, I'm going to draw it a little bit big. So I'm shading it like this. Okay. This curves I'm creating. It can be like this as well. Okay. And for blending, I'm doing this technique. 
shading it in circular motion very softly now this should be softer than what you did with yellow color okay softer don't press it too hard okay don't press it too hard let it be soft so see i'm going to start here i'll show you again creating like a curve and then slowly doing it in a circular direction trying to gently blend my color with yellow okay be very gentle don't press it too much here again very softly even if i'm coloring on yellow i'm making sure i don't press it too much on the top side taking a little bit yellow and coloring it again for blending so let it go in circular motion round so it will help you in blending here comes the next one slowly moving it I, on yellow so it will help me in blending the colors don't press remember and don't go on the gray color then here slowly i'm doing it on my yellow so we need it to be less yellow for the bigger straps i can say okay be soft don't press your pencil it's kind of a little bit difficult to remember that we have to not press a pencil but yeah, i'll keep reminding you but yes i want you to also uh, do it very softly keep reminding yourself as well that we want soft strokes for blending it with yellow yes we need very soft strokes i'm just going to color it a little bit more here so mostly the butterfly is more orange than yellow in the actual like the real in real if you'll see you can also color it plain yellow but yeah butterfly wings are so beautiful right yeah i really like butterflies they are so beautiful they really look beautiful Yeah, but now we don't see so much so many butterflies, right? They are very rare. Now coming to this side here. Be soft, be gentle while you're blending. you're being very soft and yeah it's okay if it goes a little bit outside because we are anyways going to use black right so whatever goes outside that's not going to be visible so don't worry if it goes outside so take your time for doing this So go one by one, blend it, yes I know if your hand starts painting take a break. So I'm using color pencils, with color pencils it's kind of a little bit big and time consuming, yes but if you have crayons, sharpies, markers, yes it might be a little bit quick if you have paints that also will be quick. okay now before doing this side i'm going to just give more orange color shades here a little bit dark 
Okay, now I'm going to take directly this pink color. My red is kind of not very dark, so I prefer using this. And yes, you can see this color really looks good, right? It looks kind of a little bit red because I'm mixing on orange. So it's kind of looking a little bit like red. Here it goes. Be softer. When you're doing a little bit red or pink on the top side, make sure you don't do it dark. So here I'm going to try to use a little bit orange. So it will help me in blending. Not too hard, soft, soft. Make sure it should be really soft, okay? So yeah, this is how it looks so far now it's time to color here so take your time for coloring this is kind of a little bit time consuming here Be very soft on the top side we don't want it very dark I'm just making it dark on this side here corner and I'm going to try to blend it oh thank you thank you Jyoti thank you pretty thank you so much you're in circular motion again so you know i'm going back and forward like back and forth so whenever i think like oh it's not uh, that much like oh uh, it, it's not that much blended then i'm again going and blending it so yes you can also keep doing that blending it in middle blending you know mostly what's important in this is blending it's really important yeah done with one side now the other side two more wings keep doing everyone how is it going Yes, it's slowly looking pretty, right? This is one of my really favorite topic. It takes time. It is a little bit lengthy, but yes. Oh, I missed out yellow on this one. I just realized it now. <laughs> Sorry, if my table is shaking in the middle. <laughs> so if anyone knows about this butterfly, anything, any details or any fun facts, go ahead. You can share it with us in the chat. Let me try yellow over here first. If you know any fun fact about this butterfly, go ahead, keep sharing, friends.
Here is now orange. Blending it gently. So yes, if you are done with coloring it, you can start with black. So when you are doing black, make sure you outline the shapes and then do black, okay? So because it will be easy for you, if you'll outline, you won't go inside. Thank you, Snehal. That's so sweet. You're almost there. Keep coloring everyone. How is it going? Has anyone tried it with any different color? Like blue color combination or any other color? Now I'm going to first blend this a little bit with yellow. And then comes my pink color. Yeah, this color kind of really changed the drawing because it's dark shade, right? And it really looks cool. Yes, so everyone, how is it going? What do you think how it's looking? Did you like this drawing? Here is the other one. Yeah, it's a little bit time consuming, like you have to color it a lot, you have to blend it, but yes, eventually it's gonna look pretty. So wherever you want to blend, make sure you don't press your pencil too hard. Blending this little bit in circular motion. Yes, almost done. Is anyone ready? Ready to start black? So yes, Swaranj, how's it going? Swara and um, Prasad and yes, Swaranj, even your friend Pushkar.
Who else is trying to do this drawing with me? Go ahead. If I missed anyone, let me know. And Sajri, are you also doing this with us? Are you also drawing this with us today? So here, final touch up of yellow, just trying to blend or fill the white spots because we don't want white spots, right? Okay, you started black, good, nice. Nice, Vara. Yes, even I'm going to start with my black color now, yay. This is ready and it really looks so beautiful. I really liked it, you know. I'm going to first outline this black color everywhere just for curiosity, like how it looks if it's just white. So starting from this corner, a little bit wavy lines. I'm using this black Sharpie I have. Be very careful when you're doing black, okay? I want you to first outline and then to outline each shape and then color it so be very careful because black is kind of important right now and how you do black that way it's going to change everything like your drawing will change so be very careful when you're doing black Here, I'm really being careful. It looks right now like this. Then the head. Be careful when you're doing the head as well. I'm gonna make the antennas a little bit big. Here is one line, here is another one, and a circle on the top. So this is how it looks if I don't color it, if I don't do it black, oh yeah, everything black. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to start from here one by one. I'm going to outline this few smaller patches, being very careful not going inside the colors outline it first it's going to be easy if you outline outline the shapes and then start coloring it here i'm coloring Be very careful. If you're using color pencils, it might take time. But yes, be patient and keep coloring it. Don't go inside the color. And yeah, if it goes, it's okay. You can adjust the shape. It's okay if they look a little bit different, okay? Oh, you can use paint. If Sorry, if for you, if it's comfortable using paint, go for it. Okay, just make sure even with paint you outline. So with Sharpie it will be a little bit quick. But yes, with paint also it will be quick. So it all depends like what you prefer. You have to just be careful. We have to try going inside of the color. Okay, we have to try avoiding it going or letting it go inside the colorful shades. So outline it first and then color. So whatever you prefer. Keep coloring, be very careful, outline it. See, I'm going to outline the shape now. 
It's okay if it goes a little bit outside. It's fine. Even when you're painting or you're using Sharpie, try to do it in a straight format. Like try to do it in one direction. Don't create many strokes. Outline the shape, rotate your paper, look for a comfortable position and then color it. So keep rotating your paper. It will help you in coloring. Keep coloring. Outline it first. Outline is really important. Okay, and then keep coloring, continue with it. Yes, here. So if you are painting, you can start from the top side, okay? So this is like a, a permanent Sharpie, I can say. So you can start from the right side. And yes, make sure you don't have anything, like you don't get any color under this. So I'm going to just keep a paper here. So yes, so that I don't get any color under it. This is a permanent Sharpie I'm using. It's kind of like a marker. So yes, be careful. Don't leave white spots. Try to fill all the white spots. Yeah, I know this lesson has extended a little bit. But yes, keep doing everyone. How is it going, Anne? Do you have any questions? So for the next session, uh, I will be teaching a bunny, a bunny pencil sketch. Okay, so make sure you don't miss it. It's going to be a bunny pencil sketch. So mostly it's going to be next week, but I'll keep updating you. Okay, there it is. Now the next one. So what do you think? Which side looks more pretty? The white one or the black one? <laughs> Keep coloring everyone. Here it goes. I'm going to make this a little bit big and round. So when you're coloring, make sure these points, see now from the head to the wing, they are also at same level, same line, okay? So even if you look at this lower one, you'll feel I'm going to outline this. So if you'll observe, this looks very close. Like see, there is a difference between these points, right? So you need to adjust them as well. So here I'm adjusting it, making an extra line. 
okay you need to make these changes as well you need to observe these changes okay these small things they should look a little bit similar i'm going to make them look more similar yeah now it's kind of a little bit same so yes keep doing everyone how is it going oh thank you Varasaib. thank you so here again i'm starting from the top side yes everyone what do you think how was it did you like it and now please go ahead and you can type it in the comment you're outlining this one as well So make sure you outline and then color. And filling this. Don't leave white spots, fill all the white spots. Is anyone ready? Yes, so Swara, how is it going with the paint? Yes, you have to concentrate a little bit more while you're doing this technique because we don't want to go inside the colors, right? So we have to be very careful. So be very careful when you're shading inside. So for the other one, I have tried using color pencils as well as a Sharpie. It's kind of a mixture. And here outlining. Yes, it's almost done. Okay, so we're all good. So yes, friends, as I said, next time we'll be doing a bunny sketch, pencil sketch. That's the only normal pencil sketch gray color so make sure you don't miss it it's going to be a really cute bunny so here adding more details Fill all the white spots. Okay, let me adjust this one here. Make sure the corners, they are also smooth. Before completing your drawing, yes, mine is kind of complete, but I'm going to make sure the corners are smooth. See, this should look kind of similar, so I'm going to make this one slightly big here, so it looks same, right? So just observe it, make sure you make all the side, both the sides kind of similar, okay? So let me just hold it up and show you, and yes, here it goes. I hope you can see this. 
so make sure they are kind of same and yes everyone what do you think did you like this do you have any questions or anything else please let me know so we want it to look same on both the sides if any of the shape is not looking same make sure you change it so i hope you enjoyed this and yeah thank you so much for connecting and staying so long with this painting or this coloring topic this butterfly the monarch and i hope to see you again everyone thank you we'll see you again thank you for connecting make sure you don't miss the next topic okay so thank you. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.